Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today we're going to use some maraschino cherries to make this, a maraschino cherry margarita. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. I am stoked. It's Margarita Monday. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, every other Monday I make a margarita variation to try out everything from ingredients to liqueurs to whatever. And you know what? If you have an interesting variation that you think you'd like me to make on here, please send me the recipe. I will be more than happy than to build it here and share it with everybody. Now today's margarita is a maraschino cherry margarita. And you'll be looking at my list of ingredients here and going, hmm, what is that? This neon red crap. Well, I was thinking to myself, self, what if one of my viewers cannot get access to say Luxardo cherries, Amarina cherries, or any fancy brandied or candied cherries, right? So I have a tendency to use Amarina cherries. I really like them, but you may not have access to them. And I'm not going to force you to have access to those just because you want to try something you see here on the channel. So what I have here is a bunch of the standard Maraschino cherries that you would see in your grocery store, because you know why? Sometimes we just need easy access to our ingredients and that's important. So the first thing we need is our shaking tin or shaking glass, depending on whatever you want to call it. I use glass because I prefer its looks and I prefer the way it feels for me. The first thing that we're going to use is a white tequila, silver tequila, Blanco tequila, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using an Altos Olmeco for that and we need two ounces or 60 milliliters. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks pretty. If I can get the lid on. I struggle with my lid some days. The next thing we need is our maraschino cherry syrup. And for this, we need one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. And that's gonna give us a really nice looking red color. I'm impressed. The next ingredient you need is your maraschino liqueur. For this, I'm using Luxardo maraschino liqueur, and we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. It's looking good so far, but we're not done. We need a little bit of ginger syrup. Now this is a homemade ginger syrup and I use eight ounces of water, eight ounces of sugar and five ounces of a ginger knob peeled and diced. So what I do is I cook it for three minutes till it boils up. Then I let it simmer for another five to eight minutes just to draw out the flavors. I then strain it and use it to my heart's content. For this, we need a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. looking tasty. Slide your glass over there, grab your lemon of choice, and I just said lemon, it's actually a lime. Now what you want to do is you want to roll this because you want to loosen up the cells and begin to get the the oils starting to come out of the uh, the rind because it just smells so good. Grab your knife, cut it in half. We need one ounce or 30 milliliters. looking pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some ice and we're going to shake this. Grab your tin, slam it down. I like to make sure that the seal is good, but I like this also lined up. Give it a big flip, but you're only going to do that if the, uh, uh, the seal is good. Put your thumb on top because you want to hold it in place. Shake it hard with a smile. Don't do that at home. Slap it open with the strength of a thousand cherries. Put that over there. Now that I've done that, dry my area off because I got a little bit of spray when I slammed that there. So we're gonna let this sit for a second because we don't need it just yet. But what we do need 
is your glassware of choice. In my case, I am using a rocks glass. You can use whatever you want, a Collins glass, a plastic tumbler. You could use a beer glass. Hell, you could drink it straight out of this if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lime husk and I'm going to wet half of the rim. And the reason I wet only half of the rim is because when I actually add the salt, I leave a little space for those people that are not interested and don't like the salt. And again, totally your choice. You could have salt or no salt. That's up to you because this is your cocktail. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some fresh ice in here. Grab your Hawthorne strainer and we'll give this a bit of a strain. Look at that color. That is reddish pink if I ever saw it. However, we need a garnish. And we're not going to use some lime stuff. What I'm going to use is three maraschino cherries because you know what? If you're gonna have something with lots of maraschino cherry, you might as well have some of the cherries. Yes, very nice. Now I feel garnished and special. Wee, wee, wee. Beautiful. Let's take a look. The color is very, very nice. I really like it. It's actually turned out better than you thought it would just using the cherry juice. Now I'm gonna have a sip first without the salt. Mm, that's really good. Mm, mm. You would expect it to be sweeter, but it's not. The lime and the ginger syrup help to cut that. And I don't mean the syrup, I mean the ginger itself gives you that little hint of spice. Oh yeah, let's try it with some salt. That is so good, huh? Mm. Rush out and make one of these. This is good. It's a little bit sweeter than your average margarita, but it is so good. And you can adjust the sweetness by adjusting the amount of the syrup that you want to use. Mm. It's simple, it's easy, perfect for any weather. It's, oh, it's nice and refreshing. Oh yeah. Mm. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps to bring this to you. And you know what? I think every one of you will like these. You have a great afternoon. Here for the first time in front of everybody and we'll all try it out because this is the yeah. now there is that you might not have thought about or may have seen in passing and just weren't sure about. However, if you have a margar 